Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Josh L5. We are at level 7 in the Walls of Gravel Castle. I think there's another level uh, called Gravel Castle from another Josh set. I forgot which one, though. So I hear this is a sequel to that one. I think. I, I can't exactly remember, though. So, looks like we got kind of a suction maze here. I, I like this idea of using force floors to create mazes. Excuse me. Like, seriously, that is, that is really fun. And I think we're going to need to create a nail here. Okay, now we have, we're forced to push that out, so... Hmm. How do we get that ship over there? I got an idea that's like Microsoft only. Let me just see if this will work just for fun. Ah, okay, never mind. Uh, let's let's just push it over here. It was worth a shot at least. Okay, so we got a glider. Cool. Um, assuming that's safe to do this. I don't think there's anything that will any harm that will befall us from doing that. Okay, so that's how that's solved. All right, so it looks like we're proceeding along nicely. We we haven't left any stone unturned so far, which is nice. It's kind of nice when it can be all nice and sequential and straightforward if it's a linear level like this. That's always appreciated. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so we need to extract blocks to make this work. Okay. Just want to make sure there's no weirdness here with what block goes where, but I don't think there is. I think this... Okay, this block, I believe I have to use it here. Because I can't bring another one in like that. <clears throat> also, my voice is kind of out for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but even in the last video, it was like that too. Okay, I don't think we can use those blocks for anything else. Unless, well, technically we could. In fact, I wonder if we do have to. Okay, I don't want to use the recessed wall yet. Okay, what exactly? Oh, no, I can't. No, I can bring them in. I can bring them in. Okay, so I do have to use them. Oh, I was supposed to use that block down here too, wasn't I? Yeah, I only have two more. Okay, let's do that again. All right, lesson learned. Um, tell you what, let's just take care of this block business and then we'll be on our way with other stuff. I'm trying not to be nearly as forgetful as I was with Josh L4, because, I mean, there are so many derp moments in that Let's Play where I would just forget something really silly and I would be wasting more and more time just because of it. So I'm, I'm trying to avoid doing that this time. Just for the sake of making this LP more fun to watch. Okay. Also, I, I forgot to mention this in this last video, but I am playing this in Microsoft. Um, not because I don't like Lynx, I love Lynx. It's just that I want to make sure that I minimize you know, all the misstepping and everything that results from not being nearly as familiar with Lynx. Yeah, so... I hope you guys don't mind. I'm sorry to all the Lynx fans out there, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using Microsoft for this Let's Play. Uh, I don't know which one goes where, so I just want to... I'll play it safe. Yeah, I should have known something was up when I saw that you can uh, push them through the bombs, or you can maneuver them out of there without any problem. Um, there we go. Meant to do that last time. Okay, this time we'll wait to do that until we get to the blue key. Got a little ahead of myself there. Um, I'm assuming this is where the recessed wall comes in. There we go. Alright, so two more and we should be good to go. I like this this uh, route that you have to take when you have the blocks like that. that like That's pretty cool. 
and you have to push it into one room and another room. Kind of like the one block Soho Band thing from uh, CCLP2. That's always a fun concept. Alrighty, and this should be it. And now we should be able to go through here. More blocks, yay! What have we got? Use blocks across the, these moats. The fake blue walls correspond with each other. Correspond with each other? Okay, so this is the fourth road down. I'm, I'm curious to know what this is referencing. Oh, okay. They correspond with each other. I I don't get it. Are they at, like at intervals of three squares apart? Is that what it is? I don't know. And here we got a nice little fire maze. I love fire mazes. I really do. I know Josh does too. I just want to make sure that I didn't, yeah, I didn't miss anything. I really like fire mazes. They are so fun. This makes me kind of nervous because I want to make sure I don't mess up the whole where should I lead the fireball issue. Where do those traps connect anyway? I mean, mm, that makes me nervous. Okay, I can do this without any problems, so I'll do I'll just sneak in here and take care of this real quick. Okay, so I really do need to have that fireball going in a circle. That was cool. I like that. It looks like it looks like Josh has a lot of levels that involve monsters sitting on bombs, d destroying the bombs, if you know what I mean. Um, how am I going to manage this now that I'm broke into here like that? That's going to be a problem. Um, yeah. I really don't see how this is doable now. Uh, well, wait a minute. Hang on. If I were to go and no, hey, let me let me just think this through here. I I'm, I'm just thinking. I, I know this is not exciting to watch, but I'm I'm just trying to map out a route in my head that might work. I don't know if that's really gonna help or not, but if I were to go and ah, the problem is that it seems like every route I can think of leaves out something. Yeah, like, I, I'm i not seeing a route that would really work. I mean, I need I needed to hit something on the left side to even get to the, the bottom button. Right? I mean, I, I can't see any other way. The problem is if I, I, I turn it around via a dead end here, then that square is re is revealed, which means I can't really use the left button if I were to go counterclockwise, right? I should have known that this was a fireball thing you had to do all three buttons on. Um, well, wait a minute, where's the yellow key? Because I need the yellow key to even get in there. Uh-oh. Wait, maybe I actually have to go through here first. But is that connected? That's the thing. Is that connected? Okay, let's take care of the fireball first, then we'll go explore up there. So right now, I can't really do anything unless it comes in from the left, which doesn't really work because of this, this business here. If I were to turn it around...
Well, problem with that. Well, wait a minute. Hang on. No, because if I leave the square to the left of the bottom one and below the left one, then I would have problems with the water instead. So that square absolutely has to be used. Otherwise, it will drown. I mean, to think I should just restart the level now. I mean, I, I don't see how this is going to work. I mean, let's just see. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Okay, I really wish those sorts of things were not placed so late in levels like that, especially with such a limited amount of space, but what can you do? Okay, let's try this again. I almost messed that up. Sorry, I don't have much to talk about right now. I'm just... Really? Alright. Start all over again. I'm just kind of frustrated that that even happened. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'll just go ahead and do this. and I'll, I'll get that last chip down there in a little bit. I gotta admit, I love the uh, the design of this with the water canal things and the gravel. I mean, it, it looks cool. Like you feel like you're in an old castle, you know. That's I I guess I wasn't really getting to that very well in the last video, but that's kind of what I was talking about with the whole space thing, um, where you try to recreate the feel of something. Yeah, I mean, I love that when people do that, um, and they and they do it well with some good aesthetics. This is a good example of that. Like the the rooms feel proportioned well. I mean, they, they don't feel too um, just kind of topsy turvy as far as shape is concerned. So that's always nice. Like I always appreciate that. I mean, there's a time and a place for that. But a castle, you expect the rooms to be you know square or rectangular. You know, there are certain things that you come to expect from a castle, and this level delivers on those things. So I, I really appreciate that. That's really awesome. Okay, this section right here, I have to wonder, Josh, did you get your inspiration from uh, for that section from the ancient temple from CCLP1? Because it honestly kind of reminds me of that lower right room with, with the bombs and stuff. It really does, which um, I really like that level, by the way. So if you got your inspiration from that, then kudos, because that's a great level. It really is. Speaking of CCLB1, how is everyone enjoying it? Like, I feel like it got released and then everyone played it and now everyone's been kind of quiet lately. Like, no one's really been talking, you know, CCLP4 very much or level design in general. Like, there haven't been a lot of new level sets except this one. I don't know, it's just been really quiet around CC Zone and the community in general outside of the score reports for CCLP1, which have also kind of died down. I mean, I submitted a bunch of, of scores... Um, when it first came out, I pretty much just binge optimized everything um, after it came out. But uh, I don't know. Lately, I guess after. Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, you've got to be kidding. After after I got the Wii U, I guess I've been. I did that too. Okay. Okay, time to get serious. I Maybe I'm just commenting too much and I'm getting distracted. That must be the problem here. Um, Let's see. Let's just maneuver this around. Whoop. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and get this chip this time. Yeah, after I got the Wii U, I've just been kind of distracted with the new games I got on there. Which has been a nice break from all this. It, it really has. Okay, I, I did get everything, right? Okay, good. Everything is collected. Yay. Always a good feeling to get everything. 
course, you can't always get everything in life, so I admit it. You know what? I'll, I'll bring this one down. I'll be different this time. I'll bring that one in. I guess they are connected to the closest ones, so that's good to know. Tell you what, let's make this a little bit faster and, yeah. Take care of this and then do that. There you go. Okay, I really don't know if that's actually fast or not, but it felt cool. It, it felt cool. Okay. Yeah, because now I just got one left, so I don't know. It somehow feels faster. Uh, if I if I really sat down and analyze it like I do when I optimize levels, then wait, I I'm supposed to push that down. Then I'm sure I could come up with an answer to that. But I'm trying to focus on just beating this. I may have I don't know maybe I should have taken a break in between recording the last episode and this one because I'm kind of just mass recording right now. Because I don't know Mariana Trench that one was kind of a little frustrating. I mean, I liked it. It's just, I made so many silly mistakes. I mean, it, it was me. It wasn't the level. It was just me being stupid, but I may have wanted to take a break in between levels, videos, and stuff. Okay, so this time, that one's open. And then on the next one, the second one's open. I still don't get the the hints. The fake blue walls correspond with each other? I mean, I'm assuming that mean they mean on each side of the moat, I guess? Because I don't think this is a clue for a later thing. I mean, I, I think this is pretty much it as far as this goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. We don't need another death. Not in this video. We do, however, need a red key. There you go. Red key get. Okay, so now... Now that we have a better idea of what to do here, let's let's go ahead and do this the right way. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. I I was trying to be all clever by sneaking in and investigating, but really this is way more straightforward than it than I was making it out to be. Now the question is, do I have to go through there or do No, I do have to go through there cuz I don't have a yellow key yet. So let's do this. There we are, and now we get the yellow key. So they're not actually connected. I could have done this earlier. The recess wall usage reminds me of like a Tyler level. Whoa! Oh wow! That it's hard. Like when there's gravel and then there's like water. Like there's something you can go on, but the monsters can't go on. And then there's something the monsters can't go on, or can go on that you can't go on. Like the juxtaposition of those two things is really bizarre to me. Like I. It kind of feels disorienting, almost, in a good way. I mean, it makes for an interesting watch-your-step kind of challenge. But when you step into a new room and you're like, whoa, 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 you know, you just don't have your bearings yet, you know, it just feels really awkward at first. I think that's kind of what made Fireflies and, and CCLP1 Amphibia uh, such a crazy challenge, you know. There we go. Gravel Castle finally complete. All right, state of the art. Alright, we got some keys, we got an exit surrounded by green doors, cool. Hints. Keep track of the amount of keys you collect. You need three of each color to reach the green key. Okay, so we got one, one, one. I'm going for red, blue, yellow, uh, when I say numbers, I'm just going in that order. Alright, two, one, one. Um... Two, two, one. That should be two, two, two. All right, that's two, three, two. Two, three, three. Okay, I need one that's 
Okay, this is where it gets complicated now. Or not. There you go. So I didn't really need to use any of the ones that didn't give you a, color, a key of the same color. Or, never mind, I spoke too soon. Okay, is there like a... Hmm. So I'm going to have to sacrifice the... I don't want to do that, though. Uh, is there like a same key color thing going here that I could take advantage of? Tell you what, let's just get stuff. I think that's all we need anyway, right? I don't think there's like a trap at the end where... Yeah, okay, good. If there was like one of those traps at the end where you had to have just that right amount or else you would just get stuck in some, you know, little nail trap, that would have been a lot harder, but thankfully that was pretty easy. Okay, so moving on to level 9. Union. Go inside each compartment to get chips and then enter them again to item swap toward the blue button. Okay, so... I guess we can just go around the in a circle like this and then... Yeah, we can come back here later. No problem. This kind of reminds me uh, of a level I made. It was a level called The One Who Unlocks. Um, and it kind of had this sort of thing where there were four sections in a nice open area and there was like an exit thing in the middle like that. And then there was like item swapping on the very corners. It kind of reminds me of it, except I like this even more. Like, I don't think my level holds a candle to this because this is way better. Okay, so green... I think green doors are here. Yes, here we go. And blue, I think that's a corner thing. Yeah, here we go. Now the toggles were in the upper right cell here. And I want to say that the suction was in a corner. Which probably means it's in the lower uh, left corner. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so that leaves the fire, which I think was inside... No, it wasn't in a cell, was it? No, it is in a cell. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the fire's in a cell, and I think the yellow key is up here. There we are. And finally, the blue, or the, the blue button, I guess, is down here with the water. There we go. This would be a really interesting one to optimize. Like it really would. Okay, Crayon Canyon. This looks cool. I just love the wacky look of this. Gather items to make your way through the canyon. You'll need to use these blocks to cross the river north of you. Wow, look at all this stuff. I just love the scatterbrained look of this. Like this, is, this looks legit. I like it. Okay, so... Oh, it's kind of like up the river, that Josh level from way back when. Okay, so we need to switch the toggle doors here. Um, Go around, I'm assuming. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so now we switch them again and go back. Okay, this is cool. I can deal with this. This is awesome. I'm, I'm really enjoying the set so far. Like, the levels are, like you said, moderate in difficulty. They're not ridiculously hard. But I can definitely see these as CCLP4 candidates. They're they're very well thought out. My only complaint about this set, and Josh knows what this is, but my only complaint about this set is that he didn't include some of the really awesome levels from JCCLP that haven't been represented in a Josh L set. Um, for those who don't know, Josh made a set called JCCLP, which is basically his kind of best of set. Um, but there are some levels in there that he hasn't included elsewhere. Um, and I wish he would put them in a Josh L set, just since they're supposed to be levels from the various Josh L sets that are the best of. So, I don't know, it, it feels like it should be, like those levels should be in here, but... Oh well. Wait a minute, was that supposed to... Oh, okay. That is supposed to happen, that's... Where did that... I guess he came from there, okay. So that's what that was. I still can't get through that, so I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Mm -hmm. Whoop. There we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, there are walkers. I want to be careful with grabbing items, because I don't know if I need those. 
I want to wait for him to get out of there and down here. There we are. Whoa. Whoa. I panicked there. I totally just panicked. You ever just have those moments where you freeze and you just don't know what key to press? Yeah, like that was one of those moments. Okay, I think we have to collect this. Like, there's no other option. Mm. Mm. Uh. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else we can do here since I think the green door was over here. I'm already forgetting stuff. This is not good. Okay, be careful not to walk into a trap or anything. Okay, good. There's no monsters waiting to jump out there. It's always always kind of nerve-wracking when you just walk into a new room and you're like, hey, here I am, casually storing, bam! You know, it's just like there's something right there. You know, it's just so unnerving. So I've been trying to be more careful to not just blindly walk into rooms now because I'm afraid something crazy is going to happen. Okay, good thing there's gravel here. Well, it would have been impossible without it. Um, let's see, go through here. I like this teeth with recessed walls thing. I might have to experiment with that for an actual level. Oh, that was it, okay. That was awesome, I love that. I would, You know, here we go, I, I would totally vote that for CCLP4. I mean, granted, there haven't been many submissions yet, so I mean, I don't really know, you know, exactly what I would give a 5 to, you know, when the time actually comes, but I would definitely give this a, a fair rating. I'll, I'll say that.